We are now living at that moment in time when if you have eyes and you can see, you would know that the United States of America is now in irreversible decline. And stage three of the shadow is about to replace stage two. I may not live long enough to see the change from stage three, stage uh, two to stage one. Stage one, stage two, stage three. But you may live to see it. Well then, who is going to replace the United States? Is it China? No. Is it Russia? No. It's going to be Israel. How can Israel rule the world? The United States is big. Israel is small. Either Israel has to expand and become very big and powerful like the United States or very sad eh? to mention it the world has to become small the world has to become smaller which one will it be you know the answer as terrifying as it is you know the answer that is why we are expecting nuclear war before November the 4th of this year before November the 4th of this year. Nuclear war. I hope I am wrong. I pray that I am wrong. I'll be happy if I am wrong. But I have to tell you, they can't, they cannot take a chance that Donald Trump will become president. They cannot take that chance. Because Donald Trump says, it makes no sense for us to have this antagonistic relationship with Russia. <laughs> yes. No. Donald Trump says, I'm a businessman. I'm not going to allow the Chinese to do business the way they've been doing it in the past. Things are going to be different with me. <laughs> hmm? So they cannot take a chance. They have to do, attack Russia before the elections in the United States. And Russia is ready for them. Russia is not afraid. And thank Allah for Russia. And thank Allah for China. We're not talking about Singapore. We're talking about China. China is a proud civilization. Don't look down your nose on the Chinese. China is a proud civilization. China will not bend her knee before Washington. Now, and so the stage is now set. Our time is almost up. We do not have the time to explain. But minds is not the only voice. No, thank Allah. There are many, many, many voices around the world saying the same thing that I'm saying. That the Great War is around the corner. And this one is not going to be fought with sticks and stones. <laughs> this is going to be a war fought with weapons of mass destruction. Amongst them we know about nuclear weapons, but there could be others as well that we don't know about. And when that war takes place, the world is going to become much smaller. So it's a good time to be old. Eh? It's a good time to be old. It's a terrible time to be young. Terrible. After the war takes place, do you know what our prophet has said? He spoke about the war, incidentally. The next event to take place after the Great War, said Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu was that, is what? The conquest of Constantinople. The Turkish government has prohibited 
prohibited you from even using the name Constantinople. It's against the law. You have to use the name Istanbul. Why are you afraid, Turkey? Huh? Come on, Mustafa Kamal, answer me. <laughs> the answer is, they don't want you to hear what Muhammad said. That's why. The conquest of Constantinople is to take place after the Great War. And that conquest makes sense only in terms of 